has changed my life. I've been recognised literally everywhere. When I do grocery shopping, probably the funniest one was walking down to grab my local coffee. So someone pulled over in their car and they were just like, are you Courtney Vine? And they got out of their car and grabbed the photo. And I was like, geez, that was like, I think two days post coming back. I guess you see numbers on a screen and realise how many people watch that moment. Um, so I think that's something that will stay with me forever and it's definitely changed my life. The Women's World Cup was amazing. It was just unbelievable. I feel like there's not really words to describe how cool it was. It was something totally unimaginable that I never thought I would be grateful enough to be a part of. To see the nation show up like they did to support us on our journey was really incredible. Just so many people, I think, from so many different generations that came along on that journey with us. The impact that it had uh, probably, I don't even know yet. Obviously, I've got to see the ripple effect after it and it's just amazing to be able to inspire such a young generation coming through and show those girls that you can play on a world stage and that people want to come watch. It's kind of hard to put into words what the, the France game meant to us. 70 plus thousand packing out stadiums um, to live sites being sold out, pubs watching. It's pretty incredible to see um, and think all of us came from, you know, playing here in, in Australia and starting our careers back home. The growing status of the Matildas on the world soccer stage contributed to the formation of the Australian Women's National League, which kicks off this weekend with an eight-team competition. The first W League season was very new and everything was really, you know, I guess a bump, few bumps in the road, but it was kind of the first taste of what professionalism was. And she shoots! Oh! Strike. Without that foundation and I guess that stepping stone in terms of, okay, let's get a professional league set up, let's feel somewhat like um, semi-professional footballers and what that's like. It was where I first started my professional career and I wouldn't be in the position that I am today uh, without going through that process and being a part of that inaugural season and, and the years beyond that. The W League coming in um, past our, you know, performance at the 2007 World Cup, um, where we, you know, created history there and, and progressed on. Um, I think it was really important and the Matildas that were predominant then saw what we needed to do to progress to 2011, 15, 19 and 2023. Back when I started, the competition, you know, it, it wasn't that great. Um, you know, I remember training on just like Paddocks basically back then. Uh, not many people coming to the games and it was very different. We had, I think we were happy with a few hundred people in the stands at games. It, back then, um, regarded as a good turnout. Uh, we all still had full-time jobs. The pay was next to nothing. Um, my first W League year, I think I played for $500. I think the true desire and goal was just to have that professional league where we could play against the best players across the country um, and hopefully grow it into something and um, something that we can be proud of even today. Ball back in, Kaya Simon takes a wide touch and on the left foot, Kaya Simon, it's four! And the three goal buffer is restored by a brilliant finish! The W League really helped lay the foundations of our footballing careers but it also helped motivate us when we got past to playing in the national team to go find where the best competitions are that we aren't the best players and how do we get better by playing against people that are, are better than us. I have a very important negotiation, CBO stuff. <laughs> My phone, phone is blowing up. Uh, I think for me it was always coming into the game and, and leaving it better than, than when I started and you know whether you know, that, that means that I have to take a little bit more on my shoulders to make sure, you know, girls of the future, um, both in the W League and Matildas, have a better. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've had the opportunity to ride so many different highs and lows and um, it's been the most exciting journey of my whole life and I haven't regretted anything. So to kind of, you know, pass that on and, and help build 
really strong and exciting women and, and female footballers. Um, that's, you know, that's what I want to kind of help contribute to. Yeah, I chose to stay in Australia um, for a lot of different reasons. I felt like the last few years I'd been continually growing in this league, but also I wanted to be here and be a part of that ripple effect post World Cup and really encourage people or young girls to come watch that I was a part of that World Cup team and played on a world stage in front of 80,000 people and I'm still, I'm playing in the A-League domestically um, and there is a pathway to being part of that national team. Because I had that moment as a nine-year-old girl where someone who I didn't even meet in person but I met you know, indirectly through a TV screen had that impact on me. I think that it's an invaluable impact that we as athletes can have on young boys and girls who come and watch us in the stadiums. At the end of the day, that could be a future Matilda or Socceroo there in the stands uh, that, you, that you don't know about um, until, until you spend that time and that could be the moment to help them follow their dreams. People look back on this moment in 2023 and you know, think back as, as this is the moment that inspired them to do great things in their sporting career and their lives.